battlefield tactics and technologies evolve with each new war, as tools that are highly effective in one conflict may prove worthless in the next. Others endure, becoming fixtures in an army's arsenal, and for the US military, one such tool is the Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, or UAV. UAVs have been accompanying American troops into battle for a lot longer than many people probably realize. From radio-controlled biplanes developed during World War I, to the two-in-one reconnaissance and missile platforms of today, UAVs have played an integral role in American combat and spy missions since the dawn of modern warfare. Near the end of World War I, the U.S. Army turned to inventor Charles F. Kettering to build a pilotless aircraft. He delivered the Kettering Aerial Torpedo, similar to a typical biplane, but with preset electrical controls that helped guide the UAV. The engine would shut off after a predetermined amount of time, then the wings would release, and the bug would fall to its target and detonate. The Kettering bug never saw combat, and fewer than 50 were made before the armistice of 1918, but it inspired UAVs developed during World War II. During the Cold War, Lockheed Martin's legendary Skunk Works division developed the D-21 supersonic drone. This unmanned drone was designed to hitch a ride on top of a variation of the A-12 spy plane, similar to how the space shuttle rode on a 747. The D-21 could exceed speeds of Mach 3.3 at an altitude of between 87,000 and 95,000 feet, with a range of 3,000 nautical miles. Rather than being remotely piloted, the drone could be pre-programmed with a specific flight path once launched from the spy plane. When the drone finished its reconnaissance mission, it returned to friendly airspace and released its film canisters to be scooped up by a C-130. The drone had a self-destruct function that was activated after it unloaded the canisters. Modifications were made between 1966 and 1971, but the D-21 was retired soon after. In the 1970s, the CIA built a tiny insect-inspired gadget called the Insectothopter, a miniature UAV designed to resemble a dragonfly. Agents hoped to use it to covertly capture accurate imagery that could be deciphered and turned into actionable intelligence. The prototype weighed only one gram and could fly a few hundred yards in 60 seconds of flight time. Early experiments showed promise, but the Insectothopter became unstable when passing through crosswinds and never flew an operational mission. The U.S. military's evolving demands for UAVs led it to call once again on the Skunk Works Division, which developed the RQ-170 Sentinel. With only a 14-meter wingspan, the RQ-170 can fly up to 50,000 feet high to provide real-time intelligence to its operators. The RQ-170 has served in Afghanistan, has flown over North Korea, and was reportedly used in the 2011 Bin Laden raid in Abbottabad, Pakistan. In December of 2011, the Iranian military managed to hijack an RQ-170 and reverse-engineered it to develop a version for its own UAV fleet. The premier lethal miniature aerial missile system in the U.S. Army's arsenal was developed in the 2000s by Aerovironment and entered service in 2011. A lone operator can set up a self-contained tube launcher in less than 10 minutes and launch one of two models of the switchblade. Once at an altitude of 500 to 650 feet above the ground, the drone can loiter on station for 15 to 40 minutes. It can provide operators with real-time surveillance and ground operators can deliver precision strikes with minimal collateral damage. The smaller model, the 300, weighs just 5.5 pounds, fits in a backpack, and is designed for anti-personnel use. The 600, the larger version, weighs about 50 pounds and carries a warhead that can destroy tanks. In 2022, the United States supplied approximately 100 Switchblade drones to Ukraine, where the Switchblade 600s have since come to be known as the Kamikaze drones, 